Hi, today we're going to be talking about acid-base neutralization reactions and how to predict the products of really simple reactions. So, let's take a look over here. Uh, this worksheet is available right on this website, so if you want a copy of it, it is right there. Now, what we're going to be looking at first, we've got potassium hydroxide and nitric acid reacting. Now, if you remember, you can recognize potassium hydroxide as being a base because of the fact that it has hydroxide in it, OH. You can then look at nitric acid and notice that there's an H out front in the chemical formula which indicates that this is an acid. So, potassium hydroxide plus nitric acid. The first product that we're going to see in a neutralization reaction every single time is going to be water, H2O. So, you write out H2O as one of our products. Now, the way I think that is simplest to, uh, to go about doing this is to then actually physically cross off the H and the OH from the reaction. Because now you can see what's left over. And in truth, it's pretty easy then to write it out. So you're left with potassium and nitrate, so KNO3. Now, I'm also going to do number two and number five just to sort of show you again how this works. Oh, and as a, just a sort of a recollection reminder thing, remember that potassium is a cation. It's a positive ion. It gets written first in the structural formula. Nitrate, NO3, is a negative polyatomic ion. It gets written second in the chemical formula. So that's why we write it out like this. Now, if you look, our final products are H2O and potassium nitrate. This is, an, uh, this is water. Okay. This is an ionic salt. The reaction is now neutral, or the products are now neutral. There's no acid, there's no base, okay, in the traditional sense. So, that's how you do this. Now, let's look at number two. You've got ammonium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, NH4OH and HCl. Again, base, acid, just as a reminder. You can even put a little B and an A there if you want. So, what we're going to do then is just do the reaction again. Product, again, always for a neutralization reaction is H2O. Next thing we're going to do is cross these off. Remember that the base is a cation in this case, NH4 ammonium, positive uh, polyatomic ion. So we write out NH4 first and then chlorine. And if you remember how to do ionic charges, ammonium's plus one, chlorine's minus one, that's good. Again, up here, potassium's plus one, nitrate's minus one. So those all work out good. We're also going to do number five here. Oh, and again, if you notice, Look at this, water is a product, and we have another ionic salt as our second product. Finally, we have acetic acid and sodium hydroxide. So, what we're going to do here, first product, again, always, H2O. Let's get rid of the hydrogen out front of acetate there, and let's get rid of the hydroxide then behind sodium. Now, the thing is, if you notice, these two are switched. We now no longer have a base being written first in the equation. It just happens to be that way. It's not a big deal. It's just something you have to be aware of. So what we're going to do, remember, when we write our second compound, that is a product, the cation gets written first. Sodium is positive. It's the cation. It gets written first. Okay? It's a plus one charge. Acetate, C2H3O2, is our anion. It's a negative one charge. Okay, it gets written second, so sodium H2C3O2, sodium acetate. So again, we have water, and we have our, our ionic salt. So that's how you do these reactions. Those are a couple really simple examples that we went over in class, and if you want to see them again, here they are. Uh, hope that helps.